Everyone's freaking out. My heart is racing because it felt like it was coming out of my chest. It's the text message every parent now dreads. Dad, the school is on an unexpected lockdown. Eldon Elledge's son, Christian, trapped inside a school with an active shooter on the loose, begging for help. There's a bunch of yelling in the hallway. Dad, there's gunshots. Oh, my God. And Eldon, you're reading these text messages. What's going through your mind? Anything that would go through any parent's mind, right? I'm pretty scared, uh, getting nervous. I have never been in a situation like this. I was scared out of my mind. Everyone else was scared out of their mind, and it was painful just to look around and see just how scared they were. I can't comprehend that this even happened. It's now a depressingly familiar story of loss, the lingering trauma, and the heroism now demanded of our nation's youth. I just happened to be on the right side, was able to get the handgun away from him. This Denver suburb now joining the growing list of communities forced to mourn yet another school shooting yesterday, this time at the STEM school, Highlands Ranch. Nine students shot, one fatally. It was senior Kendrick Castillo. Witnesses say sacrificed everything for his classmates when the shooter entered their classroom. That's when Kendrick lunged at him. New Gisoli, a senior, told NBC News Kendrick saved her life. And he shot Kendrick giving all of us enough time to get underneath our desks, to get ourselves safe and to run across the room to escape. He did what he had to do and I knew that was my son's nature. That was who he was. He's going to protect people. His parents telling us they weren't surprised by their son's courage. An aspiring engineer, only days away from graduation, Kendrick loved to tinker. We were on a robotics team and we built robots together. We worked on cars together. That was our life, and I love that. And I want to make something very, very clear. Kendrick Castillo died a legend. Kendrick was there. He was a foot away from the shooter, and instead of running the opposite direction, he ran towards it. 18-year-old Brendan Bailey, a Marine recruit, helped Kendrick fight off the attacker along with a couple of others. I'm not a victim. I, I refuse to be a victim. Kendrick refused to be a victim. The other students refused to be a victim. Um, and I will live the rest of my life, whether it be this situation, uh, situation in any other situation I encounter. I don't, I'm not going to let somebody just get the upper hand on me. It was just after lunch at the STEM School Highlands Ranch when the students were thrown into a panic. Attention all units getting information on a shooting at STEM School. Two students armed with handguns started firing deep inside the school. Okay, for all units, we have a shooter in room 107. Some of us hid behind the weight machine, some of us hid in the corner, and that's where me and my other two friends were hiding in, in, in the corner. It was terrifying. Police rushed to the scene. We're trying to get a suspect info. We do have one person shot in the lower back. At least three people are injured. School's in lockdown. They arrived just minutes later after getting the 911 call with bullets flying. The first officers that arrived at the scene um, uh, had to force their way into the school. Immediately, officers come face to face with one of the shooters. There's more gunshots coming from the office. But the students in class had managed to restrain the shooter. Lincoln 21 confirming you have the shooter. I copy shooter in classroom 105. For need medical here ASAP. They took that person into custody and then started to search for. Uh, for the other person. But with one assailant still at large, police scrambled to clear the school of threats. According to the first shooter, the second shooter still on the loose. Meanwhile, more than 1,800 students desperately attempt to escape the chaos. I started hearing cursing and then later a gunshot. When we were walking out, I saw, I don't know if it was a dead body or something to my right with bullet shells in a cracked phone. Then when we were exiting the building, there was a trail of blood. The wounded fleeing the campus to neighbors' yards. There was a young man here with a bullet wound in the back. We got him up, got him into my backyard, and then slowly we got him up my steps into the kitchen. Finally, the second assailant is apprehended on the opposite side of the school. Stay right here on the east side of the school. We got two in custody now. More buses coming in. With the two shooters in custody, students were bussed off campus as parents frantically searched for their children. They're not letting anybody in. I just want to get to my son and hold him and make sure he's okay. He's terrified. The last two hours have been the, the worst two hours of my life. And less than two hours later, those reunions and the tearful embraces.
Dylan! Love you, son. So, Mr. Erickson, I am. Today, suspect appearing in court, 18-year-old Devin Erickson, that stripe of fuchsia in his hair, nails painted black, saying a single word in his first appearance. No. Nodding vigorously when the judge addressed him, but never looking up. He and a 16-year-old accomplice facing nearly 30 charges, including murder. This attack adding to the growing list of shootings across the nation, from Parkland, Florida, to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and yet another in the Denver area. There's been a day of horror in Littleton, Colorado, just south of Denver. A terrifying moment in Colorado late Tuesday. A horrific scene east of Denver where a night at the movies has turned into a nightmare. This attack just seven miles away from Columbine High School, where 20 years ago, two gunmen opened fire on their classmates, killing 13 and wounding many others. And if you had suggested to anyone behind me or in this room that within 20 years and 20 miles, we would have dealt with Columbine, Aurora Theater, Arapahoe High School, the shooting of Zach Parrish and four other deputies, we'd have thought you mad. And yet here we are again. At the time, police policy was to wait outside for the SWAT team to arrive, a 45-minute delay that was criticized for allowing the gunmen to continue their killing spree. Lessons learned on that fateful day that shaped how officers and students approached this most recent shooting. We had officers on the street that were there uh, with uh, inside two minutes. Uh, once at the school, they immediately engaged the suspects and started to uh, rescue the, the children that were injured. A reaction Colorado officials have long been training for holding drills in the same county and in schools just miles away from where this shooting happened. There's got to be that immediacy, that aggressive action, and you need to go in and stop the threat. Nobody's getting up! But officers are no longer the only ones being prepared for mass shootings. Active shooting drills are now part of many schools' curriculums. When the shooting began at the STEM school, 12-year-old Nate Hawley told CNN he was hiding but ready. I had my hand on the uh, metal baseball bat just in case because mm. I was going to go down fighting if I was going to go down. And just last week, 21-year-old Riley Harrell lost his life after charging a shooter in South Carolina. He, too, now remembered as a hero. At his funeral this week, Harold buried with military honors. His family then presented with a flag in honor of his service. Thank you for being the big brother I never had. Thank you for being my hero before you were everyone's. Tonight, back in Colorado, students like Chris Elledge are coping with their new reality. I'm trying to take deep breaths. It's hard, but... Um, Is it because you still see yourself in that moment? You, you feel that... I can't. That feel, that fear? I can't. You can't what? There's no possible way to put myself in that position again. As this Denver community comes together to honor the life of its hero... <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna, if I could trade places with him, I would do it. And Kendrick's family faces a future without its child. People say, what can I do? How can I help you? You know what? If you have kids, hug them, teach them to be good kids, and pray. Our thanks to Matt Gutman for that report. And tonight, our hearts are with the community of Highlands Ranch. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.